Well, I don't think we're at a ground invasion yet, Shep, but I do think there's going to be an escalation, and, and the Prime Minister's words indicate that. Uh, the Israelis are seeking now to try to re-establish the deterrence that they had that lasted for about six years uh, and prevented these rocket attacks, for the most part, uh, from landing on Israeli cities. Uh, and they won't be content to call this off until they've inflicted enough pain on Hamas to get them to stop that rocket fire. Hamas, on the other hand, is going to respond by uh, attacking Israeli cities indiscriminately with these rockets uh, to try to show that they will not be deterred by Israel and to champion the Palestinian cause, including the cause of Jerusalem this time because of the tensions there. So I think it's set on both sides, unfortunately, to escalate in the mm. coming days. Islamic Jihad is obviously in the mix as well, too. But do you believe more powerful Hezbollah might seize on this moment? Uh, I don't think that uh, Hezbollah is going to engage. We haven't heard anything from them so far. And they have their problems in Lebanon. The last thing they need is a, yeah. is a conflict with Israel, which will uh, undermine their position further within Lebanon. So I think... Uh, they, they're likely to stay out. But you're right, Islamic Jihad is very much involved. The Israelis took out their uh, principal uh, rocket maker uh, today, and they are effectively a subsidiary of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. What is President Biden's role in this moment, and how involved, if at all, should the U.S. government be? Well, the, uh, the president and, and his uh, senior aides are engaged... Uh, with both sides trying to calm things down. Well, they're not engaged with Hamas because they don't have a relationship with them. But through the Egyptians, through the Qataris, they're trying to press the Hamas to cool it. And, of course, they're talking to the Israelis about try, uh, trying to get them to de-escalate their standing by Israel's right to defend itself against these rocket attacks. But the overall approach of the administration is to try its best to calm things down, as I said before, because of the natural momentum the escalation is, is going to likely dominate for the next few days before any uh, efforts by the international community led by the Biden administration are likely to succeed. Martin Endick, thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.